five nano satellites uh, that will be deployed uh, sequentially. The first by Yurchikin, the last four by Rosansky. The first of those five satellites called the Tomska satellite, an 11 pound satellite uh, that will be manually deployed by Yurchikin. The first uh, satellite uh, to be uh, fully printed uh, through 3D technology. This is the view from uh, Fyodor Yurchikin's helmet camera. He's got in his hand the Tomska satellite. Sergey, are you ready? And there it goes. Copy. Jettison. Launch. Jettison. And there goes uh, the first of the two Tanusha satellites uh, deployed manually by uh, Sergei Rozansky. The, LEDs. the uh, trajectory operations officer, our ballistics officer here in Mission Control, reports a good trajectory as it goes uh, away aft and nadir from the pier's docking compartment. Again, this is the first of two satellites commemorating a pair of significant uh, anniversaries, the 60th anniversary of the launching of the first Sputnik satellite on October 4th, 1957, the 160th birthday of Konstantin Sholkovsky, the father of Russian astronautics. That uh, satellite deployment came at 10.15 a.m. Central Time. Yeah, we're trying the second of these two Tanusha satellites uh, coming up shortly by Rosansky. They just hit, hit our fingers, and that's what sends them spinning. Are you ready to just listen? We are. Go. Yeah. Nope. And there goes the second Tanusha satellite at 10.16 a.m. Central Time. So three out of the five uh, satellites have been deployed now. The other two coming up uh, within the next couple of minutes. Copy. So let's uh, prepare TNS. Uh, we're going to watch second. This is a view. Uh, you can see uh, the glittering uh, spin of the uh, second of the two Tanusha satellites as it uh, drifts away uh, from the International Space Station right behind the Soyuz MSO-5 vehicle that is attached to the Rosviet module at the Earth-facing port of the Russian segment of the International Space Station, which is currently flying 252 miles above the Earth, about to approach uh, the west coast of Central America. It is a cylindrical uh, satellite that is uh, 23 inches in length, 7 inches in width. You need to pull out and rotate the lever. A activation and jettison, right? Yes, Sergey, please. Activated. And jettison. And the fourth in the series of five nanosatellites now cast away by Sergei Rosansky at 10.21 a.m., this being the TNS-0 satellite. A good deployment, a good trajectory reported by our trajectory operations officer here in Mission Control, and a good view of the TNS-0 satellite. Again, this uh, particular satellite designed to test technologies for the creation of new space telecommunication and navigation systems. This satellite actually will send back uh, signals to communicate uh, via the Global Star system and an additional VHF channel that the Russian flight controllers in Karyov will provide. And the fifth and final satellite in the sequence of deployments uh, coming up, that being the Zerkalo satellite, part of a Russian experiment to test a high, preci high precision uh, predictions of International Space Station motion by combining uh, navigational measurements of the uh, space station's vector taken by ground stations and receivers of navigational satellite systems. A good view of the uh, Zerkalo satellite, a spherical satellite uh, looking uh, not very much different than the first Sputnik satellite that was launched almost 60 years ago. This being 24 pounds uh, in weight, 20.8 inches in width. 
Вот тут самое лучшее. This one was the best. Как шарик он летит же, как шарик. Well, because it's round, so. And uh, the fifth and final satellite, the Zircalo satellite, away at uh, 10.29 a.m. Central Time. All five satellites have now been deployed, and our ballistics officer here in Mission Control reports the trajectory of all five satellites was spot on.